Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday baby, it's your girl Anita flying high. Oh, so, so we have some Manchester City news, some signings, I just like got up and I seen a little notification, I was like, oh new signing, but of course uh, I was like, oh what the fuck, I thought maybe, um, of course it was a gentleman. Uh, congratulations to the, to the gentleman, the boys City, they won again the league, um, Congratulations. I haven't won I haven't watched any of the boys matches in like for since the Champions League when they played Chelsea. Uh, well yeah, congratulations again. They're still winning uh with Pep under Pep and uh you know uh, yeah. Anyways, congratulations. But uh we didn't come to talk about the the gentleman today, we came to talk about the ladies. Um so as if you didn't know, uh Georgia Stanway has already I guess signed for Bayern Munich and honestly I think that's a great signing for her and I was just when I think about all the young players that are in big clubs but that all the young players that are in big clubs like a Georgia the players that kind of like got brought up through the 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 system and a bigger club though you know it's always interesting to see where they take their talents next because they got to experience the bigger club uh than some of the other ladies that was a whole, totally different experience um from some of the other girls that came from a smaller club now they're going to a big club or quote-unquote smaller bigger you know it's just depending on how you look at it in perspective but yeah so george is leaving uh and she's going to buy munich so now i, I was looking uh after we f i talked after i seen the new signing city sign um, so Lucy Bronze, we have Caroline Weir, and um, maybe one more player. I think I've seen a picture of Kira Walsh, but don't quote me on that one. But yeah, uh, Lucy Bronze and um, Caroline Weir, they talk about they're going to be leaving as, as well. And so I was like, wow. So, you know, shout out to Caroline and Lucy. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all. Um, but I'm looking forward to the new signing. So the first new signing, apparently, well, it doesn't matter. Let you know. There's three. Um, to me, there's two defensive, two defensive, one midfield, or you could play, you could say two midfielders, one defense. But overall, they all have like a little bit of an offensive uh, ability and quirk to them. So I guess we'll start with Diana Castellanos. Uh, or, yeah, so both Diana and Alexandria came from Atletico Madrid, right? And we watched a couple of Atletico Madrid matches, and we remember what I remember watching Alexandria and I, uh, talking about her way in the beginning that um, and she was young and uh, she had some potential. I remember talking about her now, and Diana too, as well. Uh, I felt like she had played for another team before Atletico, but it might have been Atletico when uh, I think it was like 2020 or 2021 when I actually got to see them, uh, maybe early 2021. Um, so yeah, so Atletico kind of losing two of their one, two big stars. I know they had Lindomia out there and Atletico, uh, the the Brazilian uh, striker. They have her out there, but um, yeah, I'm really happy for City. Uh, when it comes to acquiring some international talent, um, because you know it's it's always great to be able to look at England and see what type of talents here in England, but then again, it's also great to look across the world and see who else is available. And so I saw that Alex, if it was true, Alexandria hers was a free transfer, and I was like, damn, like you know, their Atletico then lost a great player or a great potential player. Uh, on free money to one of the one of the most wealthiest clubs so it's just like damn son y'all could have got some cash atletico for late for uh alexandria from uh from city and you know i want the teams to be as successful uh as i want all the teams to be successful you know what i'm saying because we want healthy competition we want good competition we want the teams to be able to if you can, mat you may not match them wealth wise, but at least try to get some money out of the bigger clubs. I'm just saying, Atletico. I don't know how big Atletico is, but it, maybe they're equal in, in money, City and Atletico. But don't quote me, okay? Don't quote me, all right? 
Also, uh, but lately, yeah, Alexandra, she plays more of like a, a left back or right back. And actually, when I was watching Spain, I they actually played her as a CDM, playing her right in front of that back four. So it's very interesting to see uh, what type of style she'll bring to City. Um, and especially because City are still going to have to figure out who's going to be playing in the middle again. So... I look forward to hopefully Taylor can get this 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 correct. But we're gonna help him out along the way. Hold on, I got I got a runny nose in this bitch. Um excuse me. Sorry, y'all. I had a runny nose. Excuse me, excuse me. You know what happens, it happens. Alright. So next would be um uh, Diana Castellano. So I'm still not too sure with familiar with her, but she's a Venezuelan, 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 Venezuelan. I don't know if I can say that right, but she's from Venezuela. But she plays for Atletico Madrid, playing that um, cam role, that center midfield, that creator role. And honestly, I'm really excited to see her vision and what she can do for City, um, because I feel like when we watch City in the midfield, it was usually uh, Kira Walsh. Um, Georgia Stanway, and he also put in, uh, fuck, who was that third midfielder he always played? Uh, Kira Walsh, uh, Stanway, and, uh, it was either, uh, Caroline Weir, um, yeah, it's mainly Caroline Weir, right? So, if Caroline, Georgia gone, and maybe Kira Walsh, that's three players, but we're gonna say two, based upon the rumors. So, that's two players, so I think, um, Diana will fit perfectly in here, and we're gonna see, I think, uh, what... What type of play she has? She's gonna. I feel like she's gonna have a lot more attacking help with uh, Bunny and Hemp and Kelly. Um, and so we're gonna see what passes she's able to help uh, City in the midfield. And I think City need a player like her, a uh, creative player, a camera player that has a vision. And so both uh, Alexandria and Diana are both. Uh, I think Alexandria's twenty. Uh, um, the left back, Alexandria, she's 21, and then um, Diana, she's 23, so both under 25, and this is really good uh, when I look about, when I think about City's future. Um, so, well, still not familiar with Diana, but I think this is great, um, and if she is the only Venezuelan player I've actually ever... Um, Pretty much, no. Uh, based upon doing all the commentaries I've done, she's the first one I've been able to see. Um, she's really talented, and she may be the first of her generation uh, to bring more um, uh, more knowledge and more uh, enlightenment and more spaces to the game in Venezuela for women's football in general. And so when we get to um, Leila, uh, the Barcelona player, Leila had a great great this last this when watching barcelona this kind of uh a little bit towards like like kind of champions league ish uh we all we actually kind of knew you know the signing of uh Ru rufio she ended up taking leila's position a little bit because she was playing like that right back for barcelona a little bit but so we kind of got to see uh, Leila, you know, improve. I felt like her distribution was a lot better than the first time I seen Barcelona when they won the whole league, when they won the Champions League. And I feel like she has improved since what I've seen her. And I'm uh, super excited that she has decided to come to City because uh, I think, of course, having Demi Stokes, Lucy Brown left and right back, um, and, you know, they're getting up there, you know what I'm saying? And I think Leila's are going to be a great addition and when it comes to creative wise distributing putting the balls in the box especially if we don't give back janine becky if she stays out there in portland and so we are lacking in left backs and right backs uh for sure for city and um i think she's gonna be a great a great addition because she was able she's able to get um of course uh wide and put good balls in the box i don't know how many times i've seen her put the good ball in the box and barcelona were able to score so uh overall I'm sorry, y'all. Overall, these are some good signings for City. Um, and I think they're much needed. Uh, and, and I think, honestly, if they can get a striker, that'd be great. Um, but if not, I, I like these signings so far. So all, all three players play in um, Sp Spain, played in Spain. And, and so, honestly, now I want to see... What are the 
Spanish league going to do? Now you have three pretty well-known players leaving your country to come to England. What are you going to do? I think if Barcelona can attract Minima, uh, if Minima ends up going to Spain, I mean, damn, that's going to be tough because Atletico, they're going to be in a, in a shitter and Real Madrid are going to be like, oh, you know, it's going to be even more difficult. So that's why, that's why I say if, if Minima goes to another team, I if she goes to Barcelona, you, you can understand. It's just for Champions League purposes. Because, like, Barcelona probably win the league. Still, with the team that they have. But I am not counting the chickens before they hatch. But, um, yeah. So, what is the Spanish League? How are they going to revamp? And they're still kind of new. Uh, in a way, fairly new. Not really new, but just... Uh, I want to see how they react and respond based upon having some of their players leave and come. And it happens. That's football. But we want to have it balanced. We want to see who's going to go take their talents to Spain. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to just say, you know, welcome to the new ladies. And I know, like, I did a, a whole, um, like, episode, a whole video introducing the new players and watching the videos of the new players last year uh, for City before Champions League. Before we knew um, City weren't even going to get past Real Madrid. <laughs> and uh, with all those new signings, you know, it was pretty incredible. Um, but yes, uh, I want to thank everyone once again. Uh, I think these new signings are going to help City once again. Um, we're going to see the transfer season doesn't open till the 17th. So we're going to see where Caroline Rear, Lucy Bronze, and some other players. I know Chelsea signed a player, a French player. So, you know, fucking looking out for Chelsea, all right? But, yeah, we're going to see who else makes some big moves. I know City boys are talking about signing this dude named Hala. Who is this guy, Hala? You know what I'm saying? And here's another thing. So, City uh, promotes their, their new signings on the other City page instead of the Manchester City women's page. And so, here's my um, advice for the... Um, here's my advice for the, twi the Twitter management for Manchester City... Uh, both channels P put the new signings on the men's channel and the ladies channel don't just put them on the men's channel so i, I know that it, it has more audiences but do both don't just put it on the men's and then don't put it on the women's do both it's easy it's called copy and paste it's simple okay simple that's just some advice um for Manchester City's branding management. Don't don't just put it on the other channel. Put it on put don't just put it on the Manchester City Boys channel, Twitch channel. I mean Twitter. Put it on the ladies as well. It only makes sense. That only makes sense. And um, uh, if y'all read the comments, it's pretty hilarious. Who is this Halad guy? If y'all can figure out who this Halad guy is. Because uh, everyone's on his dick. But, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's hilarious. Every time I, I, you read comments, you're like, Oh, sign Halad, sign Halad. Who is this Halad guy? All right, all right, yeah. But anyways, y'all, once again, thank y'all for tuning in to Anita's Joint. Hashtag Stand the Joint, where every day is payday, baby. Let me know who you think uh, the best signing is so far for City. Um, and who else do you think could have come to the club? I think, honestly... Honestly, honestly, out of the three players, I guess the youngest we'll be looking at a little bit more. Um, but I'm actually excited to see Diana. I really want to see what type of player she is. And, you know, I like she's a she's a creative midfielder. So I really want to see her vision and what, what she's going to be able to bring. But, yeah, so I think so far that's my she's my the most exciting signing for me so far when it comes to City. And, uh, yeah, I think this season is already going to, you know, we got the Euros in England. Uh, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, England do and also how city do but yeah anyways let me know who y'all think the best signing is so far um also did i talk about everyone yeah i talked i talked about everyone yeah so we got layla and alexand okay layla and um alexandria are both aries and diana is a virgo so we got some fire so some some fire some cardinal fire and we got some mutable earth on the team so um i'm here for it i'm here for it hopefully we burn up the charts and uh, hopefully uh city will have a successful season 
um once again uh but yeah once again thank y'all everyone for tuning in to anita's join hashtag extended joint where every day is payday baby it's your girl anita flying high flying out of this third dimensional reality and i'll see you on the next one this is